As 6pm almost arrives, what is going on in Scottish football, guys? Welcome back to Fog Football. We're here with a bit of an update at 6pm. I'm going to try and quickly wrap up everything going on. And it turns out the biggest transfer move of the day is Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari. And that's even outside of Scottish football. You look at England, you look across Europe, there's nothing happening, man. It's probably the, the, the worst January transfer window that I can remember. Rangers, it says they're chasing a loan deal for Lens winger Cortez. We knew that was done yesterday. They're just going to announce it today. Celtic, they're losing more players than what they're bringing in. And the players that they're bringing in are pish. Everyone is pretty much through Adam Adaya under the bus, right? And you know what? His numbers are pretty bad. And you kind of feel sorry for him in a way um, where he's not even getting given a chance. But that's the reality of the Celtic board. They think they could just sign a guy for the championship who's Irish, and that'll win some people over Big Dermot Desmond. And then we've got Aberdeen. They've sacked Barry Robson. They've also rejected a bid for Duke. And then we've got Kevin Van Veen, who's linked with a move to the Scottish Premiership. Crazy, crazy, crazy times. So let's go into it. Um, we've got Neil Warnock. We've got Neil Lennon. There's a bunch of Neils. We've got Stephen Robinson. We've got Alex Neil. There's Neils. There's Neils everywhere. First, second, last name. They all want a bit of that Pataudry job. But let's kick off with the old firm, shall we? Um, Cortez and Adam Adaya will be announced later. The videos will be made. I don't want to talk too much about them because it, it's going to happen, right? There's no, there's not much point in me hype. Oh, is it going to happen? Oh, they're going to get the paper across the line. They're going to happen. Of course, Jeff, these deal fell through, but we heard about that earlier on the transfer roundup. So let's dive in to Sky Sports News, of course, here. And, uh, I mean, look at this. Transfer deadline day live. Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> shock out it's almost like it had to happen that way um but i mean i tell you what you, you go into this right and it's like this is oh this is the scottish gossip column when the reality is it's not but we've got trentite Tr trentis has uh joined hibs on loan he's a center back from sunderland big michael beale doesn't want him and um, he did play under him at central coast mariners when they were crowned a league champions the Australian centre-back left the Mariners in the summer to join Sunderland, but his game time has been limited, only making three appearances in all competitions. So, I mean, that's a decent sign in there for him. I mean, a championship level. Um, I mean, I think that's a weird one. Fulham agreeing a four million loan fee for Chelsea's Broja. This guy, I, I've never rated this guy for Chelsea. Up front, he's one of those guys you just didn't even fucking realise he even existed until today. Um, we've got a few more other deals happening here. So apparently, um, Leganes have bid it for Duke and they lead La Liga too. There was also talk earlier that Lauren Shanklin's had a £4 million price tag placed on his head after he rejected the contract last night. Celtic were interested. That was from like one sole guy on Twitter. There wasn't much um, evidence backing that claim up. But to anyone, I mean, I'm not going to say that I didn't think Rangers would sign Shanklin, but I've said for like a week now, maybe 10 days, that Rangers aren't going to sign Shanklin. There's been no interest. And honestly, Rangers are just slipping. Like, you've got Kevin Van Veen, right, going to St Mirren or Kelly potentially on loan. Well, why don't Rangers take a punt on Van Veen? And there's not one fucking Rangers fan out there that can win me over. What What is actually the problem with loaning in Van Veen for six months? No, there's not one negative to it. There, there's not... The guy finished top goal scorer last season. I don't give a shit if he's 33. We're not spending 10 million on him. We're probably spending a minuscule loan fee. It, it's ridiculous, man. Uh, yeah, you know what, right? It's not ideal. You'd rather Shankland. Absolutely. But is he better than no one? Of course he is. He'd be better than that Adam Adair guy because at least you know the guy's going to bang in buckets of goals. So, disaster. And I think the fact that, you know, the old firm could be looking to... I mean, even Hart should bring him in, even if they keep Shankland. It's ridiculous, by in this transfer window, the way it's wrapping up. You know, it was looking good for some teams and it's looking worse for others, but uh, Wigan midfielder Harry McHugh has uh, joined Air United on loan until the end of the season. And what else we got here? Betis have agreed a £7 million deal for Pablo Fernandes. I think that's quite good for him, Um, to be honest. We've got Chris Sutton saying that Rashford crossed the line with Belfast trip. He was in Lavery's, he was in Thompson's, hell, he was in everywhere, man. That's where the main man at Manchester United was. And we've got a load more here as more chaos is going to ensue. So it looks like 
Yeah, as you can see it here, Fan Fiend is to choose between St Mirren and Kilmarnock. Latest from Sky Sports News, Anthony Joseph and Mark Benstead. St Mirren and Cully are both reaching agreements. I'll tell you what, whoever signs Fan Fiend will probably finish up higher between these two. It's now up to the player to decide on his future. So, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Rashford, I doubt he's leaving, Ch I doubt he's leaving United. I mean, I'm talking, I don't want to pretend he's going to be on a move to Scotland. I mean, it looked like it was going to be the PSG early in the summer. Um, but St Mirren have opened the fan fiend talks. I just, honestly, Rangers sign a fucking striker. I mean, there's a guy out there in the market for peanuts and he finished top goal scorer last season. And people are turning their fucking nose out up him. It's ridiculous. So, um, got a bit of breaking news here. Motherwell are close to signing. Rangers defender Adam Devine on loan. The Fur Park Club are also trying to sign another defender tonight. Um, apparently they tried to do everything they can to um, sign Fan Fiend, but St Mirren and Kelly are offering a lot more than what they are offering. Anyway, guys, that is your 6pm update. There's probably going to be more to come. I doubt there's going to be any like proper crazy stories tonight in the next five and a half hours, but yeah, that's the magic of transfer deadline day, isn't it, my folks? Uh, but anyway, that's it. Till next time. Peace.